Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me. Today is July 5th, 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe and then head on over to podcast.hellocupcakeitsme.com to check out the podcast and then head on over to Hello Cupcake It's Me to go give the blog some love. And then um, follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash me. So, guys, happy 4th of July to those of you who celebrated. And um, hope you all were happy, safe, and uh, didn't drink too much and was able to get up and go to work today. Uh, it was a fairly uneventful, uh, fourth for me. <clears throat> Just went over to my sister's house and hung out for a little while. We were going to go get our hair cut and everything, but we couldn't find a salon that was open, even like the one at Walmart. And so that was kind of disappointing because I really need to get my hair trimmed or whatever. So maybe this weekend, who knows? Um, uh, but yeah, uh, it's been a very, like, long weekend for me, basically, because the YMCA was closed on Monday, so, um, I had from Friday afternoon till this morning at 6.15 to, uh, go without, like, being in the pool and doing my usual, so, uh, it was really nice to just be able to rest and relax and, kind of take my time waking up and not really having to hop up out of bed because the alarm went off or whatever. So that's been really nice um, and restful. And uh, had a little bit of a issue yesterday morning when I woke up. Um, I have a portable air conditioner in my bedroom and I heard what sounded like dripping water. And I'm like, what the hell is that? And, um, I woke up and sure enough, my portable air conditioner was dripping water onto my floor. So I'm sure that's going to cause some problems later on down the road. But, um, I took my AC and pulled it out of the went or disconnected it from the tube that goes outside and dragged it into my bathroom. Not before spilling all of the water that was still in it onto my bed and oh God, and some of it in uh, my bathroom, but whatever. Um, clean or I opened it all up. I have no idea what the hell I was doing because I'm not a, I'm not AC tech repair person, but in opening it up, I did see that the filter and the refrigerator grate was really, like, caked on there with pet dander and just crap from the previous owner of the unit and um, probably from Bella and Boy and just all the crap that floats around in my house. So I was able to do a little bit of maintenance, and I noticed uh, after... cool. Uh, wiping down those grates that it got exponentially cooler when I turn when I finally turned it back on. Um there's another filter or grate system, but you had to take off the whole entire back paneling and I just did not have the mental bandwidth to one deal with the fact that it was dripping onto my floor all all night long. And two just taking apart what I took apart was enough. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, but I got that all put back together. And then I called my sister and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. What am I doing? And she's like, you should come over. I'm like, okay. And I, you know, so I went over to her house and we hung out and I came home like, Around 5, 5.30 because I wanted to get home before the uh, fireworks started. Because last year, Baboy really didn't do too well with the fireworks. But it was also just a few months after I had adopted him. And 
we were still getting used to each other and he was still really skittish. Um, he did a lot better this year. He um, sat in the hallway for a little while and after a couple of really big loud mortar explosions, um, I went into the hallway. I was like, hey, come on, get in here. And he came in and I started playing with him and everything and that kind of relaxed him and um, at one point, because I'd already taken my nighttime medication, I was just like, dude, I'm sorry, you're going to have to deal with it, however, and I passed out. So, when I woke up this morning, he was in a feisty mood already and wanted to play, and I'm like, B buddy, I gotta go, I gotta go, so I'm sure I'm going to bleed later when I come home, and he, if he's still in a, like, frisky mood or what have you. Um, what else? Oh, have you guys heard of this app called Nextdoor or Nextdoor Neighbor or whatever? Um, I call it the senior citizen bitch about everything Facebook because it's just a message forum, really. And people get on there and bitch about the stupidest stuff, like, uh, one, one, one person got on there and was like wondering what to do about the vandalization happening to their car because there was a yellow dust all over it for three days in a row. And I just don't understand why people would vandalize my car. You dumb bitch. It's pollen. It's vandalizing all of us. You're not special. Move back to whatever state you came from. But, um... So, every year, people get on there, and they bitch and complain about fireworks, and, oh, think about the animals, and think about this, and think about that, and blah, blah, and just, like, you know, I am a huge animal advocate, and I am the first one to go to bat for an animal, but in our area, there's 43 5G towers, there is Air Force... Navy, commercial and private planes, people and what they consider driving, like if the animals can deal with all of that on a daily basis, they can deal with fireworks and explosions for like six days out of the year because it happens on the 4th of July and it happens on New Year's. So, everyone was bitching and complaining, don't set off fireworks, and if you're going to set off fireworks, we're going to report you, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and blah, blah, blah. And even the county issued a no fireworks or open fire or this, that, and the other thing, and it's like, yeah, that's really going to stop people from utilizing fireworks. Now, Speaking as somebody who lost a house to wildfire, um, I know that your house burning down fucking sucks, like all the dicks at the glory hole, but um, I'm not going to be one of the people that try to police my neighbors and tell them what they can and can't do because it disturbs my humble sense and sensibility. Like, yeah, there is a potential for fires, but at the same time, water your goddamn grass. Make sure that your neighbor's yards are watered. Even if that means you have to water your neighbor's yard using your water and your water hose. Like, there are preventative measures. And so, today on Next Door Neighbor, everyone was like, I can't believe the blatant disregard that people have for others, blah, 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 this and that and the other thing. And I'm just like, what are they going to do? They cannot arrest the entire fucking populace for shooting off fireworks and having fun on the 4th of July. That's what you do. Like, and I was sitting outside drinking a glass of wine, like right around 
some right around the fire time that the fireworks started. Oh, I can't speak. And I watched like six different cops and state patrol drive by people's houses really slow and continue on. It's like, guys, you're calling the cops on the peop for the people that they are related to, married to, dating, or are best friends with. Like, really? They're not going to do shit. And, um, so, because that's an unpopular opinion, because the police should do whatever we request them to do, blah, blah, blah. Like, people don't understand that about small towns. Especially a town where, like I said, everyone's related to everyone, everyone's dated everyone, everyone is has like some kind of connection with everyone. There is not the six degrees of separation here. There's one and a half degrees of separation. One person knows like 95 people and those 95 people are all friends, family, and exes. It's like the, the cops that you're calling are also participating in the 4th of July activities, are participating in the mortar explosions, are friends and family and lovers of the people that you are calling about. So every year I make a post right before New Year's and right before 4th of July. Prepare yourselves. This is what's going to happen. Now, usually this is the first year that I've noticed that this wasn't actually something that happened. But typically every year, a week before the 4th of July and a week after the 4th of July, there are explosions, gunshots, and, like, fireworks, and all that other stuff. Um, so far, yesterday, or uh, Monday and yesterday were the only times that I heard any kind of fireworks or explosions or any of that other stuff. Um, we'll see if it continues the next couple of days, and maybe even this weekend, but, um... Yeah, very, very interesting, and people get so pissed off at me, but it's just like, you know what, whatever. So, that was my fun little rant and soapbox for a moment there. Um, what else is going on? Really nothing else, honestly. Just spent a lot of time this, the last couple of days just resting uh, spent some time catching up with a friend last night, and that was really nice. Um, old, old childhood friend, and um, just shooting the shit with him. And uh, did a lot of progress in my uh, sign language, uh, in my sign language class app thing. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone with one hand here. But yeah, did a lot of progress with that this weekend and um, actually did a couple of different tests and having a lot of fun with that. A lot of fun. So anyways, guys, I feel like I'm starting to ramble and it's getting time for me to meet up with my sister. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. But you got questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.